Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture class of Fluor Mechanics. In this class, we'll see our introduction topic of unit 2, that is basic concept of fluid flow. In this unit, we'll see a very first topic that are that is types of fluid flow. Okay. So there are different types of fluid flow. So before getting into uh, types of uh, fluid flow, we'll see what is flow and what is fluid, and then we'll go to what are the different types of fluid flow available, okay? So fluid, the flow is defined, is usually defined as the quantity of fluid that passes uh, for one point per in a unit time, okay? It defines the quantity of uh, fluid that passes a certain point in a unit time. That fluid can either be a gas, liquid, vapor, or any other substance. So flow is defined by an equation called as quantity divided by the time, okay? So flow sometimes is also uh, written in a form of del Q, that is the rate of change of quantity okay so in this unit two that is we'll be studying about the basic concept of fluid flow okay so basically we'll be studying about the fluid kinematics part so previously we have discussed about fluid properties in this unit we'll be discussing about the fluid uh, fluid kinematics so, so what is fluid kinematics as i've said earlier so fluid kinematics this, it tells you uh, the prop. It tells the pro study of fluid under motion without considering the force acting on a the material. Okay, it tells you about the motion of fluid without considering the force acting on it. Okay, is that clear? So now you have got an idea. What is the flow? Okay, or how how you define flow, and uh, definition of fluid is. The substance that can, which can easily flow, we call it as fluid. So in fluid mechanics, we'll be considering both uh, liquid and gases as fluid here. Okay. So we'll move on to uh, types of fluid flow. I think uh, we have got an idea about what is flow and what is fluid and what is fluid flow. Okay. So there are six types of fluid flow. The first one is Steady and unsteady flow. Second type was uniform and non-uniform. Third was, was laminar and turbulent. Fourth one is compressible and incompressible flow. Fifth one is rotational and irrotational flow. The last one is one, two, and three-dimensional. So we'll see one by one what are the uh, how it is defined how uh, it is defined by the different types of flow. So, okay, we'll start with the steady and unsteady flow. So, okay, we'll see what is that. So, the, here is the definition here. We have no, the, some fluid properties of, uh, of the fluid, okay, like velocity, pressure, density, okay. So, what is uh, velocity? So, velocity is the, it uh, is a term, it gives a representation of speed, and the direction of an object which is in motion. Okay, it tells you both about the direction and the speed of an object. Whereas the pressure is nothing but the force exerted on the area of the object. Density is your uh, the mass by volume. Okay, so these are some properties of fluid which do not change with respect to time. We call it as steady flow. If the fluid property does not change with time, we call it as steady, steady flow. So the opposite of that, non-steady will be the fluid characteristics like velocity, pressure, density will change with respect to time here. Okay, so that is what your unsteady flow. I think it is clear now. Okay, the definition here, the density of pressure at any point changes with respect to time, we call it as unsteady flow. The second type, we have uniform and non-uniform flow. So uniform uh, here, the velocity of the fluid, okay, it does not changes with respect to space, that is space and it does not changes with respect to the direction of the flow, okay, you can see in the picture. So the upper hand, it has a uniform flow, that is the velocity, that is speed or the direction. 
of the uh, fluid of uh, fluid does not change in the direction we call it as uniform flow whereas second half we have non uniform that is the velocity at any given time will change in the direction with respect to its direction we call it as non uniform is it clear so non uniform flow you can observe in the first picture there there is a change in volume so on the first hand uh, the volume is uh, slightly less when compared to volume at the uh, the second part okay the volume is gradually increasing so when this change in space happens then there is a chances of occurring non uniform flow okay third type we have laminar and turbulent flow the laminar it means the particles that are present in fluid moves in a well defined path or streamlined path okay so we call it as laminar turbulent that is the particles movement are random okay or in zigzag pattern okay so this you can see it is the fluctuated the velocity at any point gets fluctuated that we define as turbulent flow the fourth one we have compressible and incompressible flow so compressible means that the density of the fluid will change from one point to the other if you see the density of, uh, of the fluid is not constant okay uh, whereas incompressible means the density of fluid changes from one point to the other okay so the density is constant here so incompressible density just it remains same okay whereas fluid will fall under incompressible uh, gases will form and uh, fluid will form under incompressible gases will form under compressible okay so since in gases material the molecules are randomly spaced if you apply pressure apply pressure on gases the molecules will compress whereas on liquid the, the molecules are randomly spaced but still uh, the random space is decreased the this distance between two molecules are small so if you apply a pressure over a liquid the compressibility is less when compared to gas so okay so on compressible flow we can have a example as gas line or in compressible flow we can have an example as a liquid that is water okay in fifth type we have rotational and irrotational in this the fluid particles flows in a streamline okay and also it able to rotate only on its own axis whereas on ir uh, irrotational while flow along but it does not rotate on its own axis they both will follow streamline but the rotation is taken place on their own axis for rotational basis where irrotational it doesn't take place on their axis that is the difference the last one is one two and three dimension so one dimension means the direction that is the flow parameters like velocity is the function of time so it is so it takes place in only one aspects two dimension the velocity uh, and is a function of time it related toward a rectangular space coordinate or in three dimensional flow we have three mutual directional condition first one we considering one direction second we have two directional flow and the last one is three dimensional that is three dimensional flow i think uh, it is clear now what are the different types of flow and we have our, we have six different types of flows available okay thank you